Oh my. What is up, YouTube and Gunplot fans? It's your favorite builder, Oh My Wings, with another video. Now, today we have something super, super special. Um, I ended up getting this for my birthday, and again, I know it was a really long birthday. My birthday already passed, but I got this for my birthday, and I was so, so excited because I'm a huge fan of the crossbone, uh, especially the X2, for so many reasons, and I'm excited to get into this. So, let's get this review started. Even before we open this awesome metal build, so this is a metal build exclusive, a P Bandai actually uh i got this for a pretty decent price so i was very very excited and very very happy at what i got it for um so i want to be able to just even just go over the review of the box because the box is so massive so i'm gonna have to turn it this way a few times but just from looking here this looks phenomenal uh the art well not really the art but just a photo on how they did it looks so so good in the coloring so we turn it over here we have the metal bill logo and as well as the crossbone uh obviously the name of it is in the back now the back looks crazy now i'm this makes me feel so excited because looking at all the parts it comes with with the lance the cannon uh just how it connects and everything this is going to be really really cool and i'm so excited for this so i can't wait to open this uh but of course i wanted to show you guys the box and the box looks amazing and i can't wait to put on the cape the cape is gonna be super super cool too so just a little bit about this mobile suit where this is from this is from obviously the crossbone series piloted by zabine uh sharks if you don't know who that is he is from the gundam f91 movie and if you get a chance to watch it i highly recommend watching it it's not bad it's pretty good and of course this is from the crossbone manga series um so it's very 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 popular and we still haven't gotten anime come on bandai give it us crossbone that's exactly what we want please give it to us please 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 and as you can see here we have this awesome booklet from the crossbone gundam x2 so this is the booklet and i guess the manual where it basically puts everything in so this is really cool so it gets the whole instructions on where everything goes of course with the core fighter um as well as the stand all the different types of weapons in here and of course um when you want to switch the head with the eye patch which we'll get into later which is really cool of course with the beam sabers which is the guns that can turn to a beam saber i believe um oh and even has the knife that's pretty cool i didn't even notice that and of course with the beam shields and the cape which is gonna be really interesting and i think it's gonna be actually really scary to do but i'm excited for it so let's see how that goes and of course this is for the cannons here and more of the cape in the back so you know what i'm gonna have to put the cape on i think the cape is really cool i'm gonna put that on i think that's really really nice uh but yeah this is a really cool booklet already i'm super super excited all right so after just opening from the box uh, i was able to take some of the stuff out already i wanted to go over some of the you know i guess the boring stuff you can say so the first one we're going to be going over is the stand and this stand looks pretty awesome um it has the logo it has the name of the crossbone so if, just from looking here from the stand this is going to be pretty promising and i'm very excited how to make this look super super epic so we're going to be opening this up let's take a look at it and this just looks phenomenal looks great we put it together it has a really strong stand so i'm not too worried about falling over anything and of course it has that metal build uh quality so any metal build quality is pretty solid and their stands are always really good so i have no complaints there now i am wondering what this part is for but i'm assuming this is going to be part for later on i think this is going to be part for the lance or something hold heavy to uh to carry it so we're going to get back to this later and find out what it is and as you can see we also have the cape here i'm not going to try to open it too much at the moment because i know there are a lot of different parts so we'll definitely be careful before we open this thing but i'm going to be totally honest with you lodge i'm already opening it already so i'm like whatever i'll just open it i'll just be very very careful when opening it oop it's already falling apart see this is why i didn't want to do it but i'm doing it anyways see that's what i was really scared of to do and some pieces already fell but nothing's been lost so that's okay um but this cape you know i'll be honest with you it's kind of underwhelming it's kind of just a piece of cloth i thought it'd be a little more epic but i guess i just have to connect it together and maybe it'll look better but just from looking here it looks pretty underwhelming i'm not really too excited for it but who knows it'll probably look better once i put it together
One hour later. So, for everyone who is wondering about the cape, this literally took over an hour trying to put this together. I was so confused on it. This thing was super stressful, but we finally got the cape in, so I cannot wait to put this on the crossbone. And advice, by the way, be very, very gentle because this thing could easily fall off with all the parts. So make sure when you are putting the part in, make sure you have this part uh, upwards like this. This is how you connect it. So just making sure in case everyone was wondering how to put on the cape, because I've noticed on YouTube, no one really explains on how to put on the cape. So just to make sure if you want to put the cape on, have this up and the rest down like this. I'll let you even, you know, pause the video like this. This is how you do it. Good. And as we proceed further, where we're going to the weapons. So as you can see, this awesome lance right here. I'm so excited for this part because it just looks really good. So just looking here at this lance right here, this goes obviously on the right side of the mobile suit. And I think this is where you kind of click onto the arm, which we'll get into later. So hopefully that's where it connects. Um, but the quality of this lance just looks amazing. I love the purple and I love the black. Uh, they definitely put a lot of details in it. As you can see, it has the writing and everything on there, which makes it really nice. Um, and I think this could extend, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to try to play around with that. But it looks like it doesn't, so that's good, I guess. Um, and of course, it's with his beam or his cannon right here. This actually extends out, so he can actually hold it right there as well. Or it can actually hold through here this way as well. So it kind of moves like that, which is really cool. Um, I think these move as well, so... Yeah, this looks amazing. So I don't know if this is a lance too, because if it is, and if I am correct, then I think I can also extend this to a lance. But I think this just might be the cannon. But if I'm right, then that'd be pretty cool. So let's put it together. Nope, it's just mainly just a cannon. So keep that in mind. This is the cannon. This is not the lance. The lance is actually this part. Um, but still very excited to put them together. And I think you can put them together in terms of like one side on left and one side on right. So let's get into that. And hopefully uh, towards the end of the video, we can put it together.